Pregnant wife cheated and begs for reconciliation. As the title goes, it was the worst possible timing to discover her infidelities. She was sleeping with her neighbor while she was pregnant. The wife of the AP was suspicious that her husband was cheating. So she decided to hire a private investigator and voila, the person he was cheating on amongst all the others was my wife. I found out when the AP's wife confronted my wife at the kids playground in front of all of our friends. So this has been absolutely humiliating for her. I'm devastated and my whole world is shattered. Our babies are at such a vulnerable and young age and I can't comprehend how she could do this right now. I kicked her out of the house even though she was very heavily pregnant and I let her give birth to our daughter a month ago completely alone. She's been reaching out to me countless times throughout the day, sending me a bunch of text messages and a lot of missed calls. From her messages, it's clear that the stress of handling two small kids on her own, the juggling of their needs all whilst running a business as she's self-employed is definitely taking a toll on her mental health. She was extremely sorry for everything and is now begging me to move back Back in. She said that she really needs me to help her out, but that just seems like she's trying to forget everything that she did and just trying to move on with the situation. It would be solely for the children's sake and we are definitely never going to get back together. I feel like she's been able to manipulate me much more easily. Like most cheaters, she's in favour of reconciliation and of course, she said a million times that she loves me very much. But I was firm and said that actions speak louder than words. So she even said that she was willing to show me rather than just say that she loves me. I on the other hand believe that once you cheat, I'm never going to be in favour of reconciling. Would you accept accept this situation for the sake of our kids is the question that I really need advice on. I don't wish any man to go through something like this ever. She lives abroad in my country too so she has no family here. Me and her child are literally the only family that she has. We met when we were both on vacation and then she decided to come and live with me. Although I swore to never ever get back with her, should I give her one more chance now that there are children involved? So me personally, my personal rule of thumb is this. If you cheat, I'm never going to get back with you ever again. You've broken my trust and the problem with trust is that trust is something that can take years to build and for a second to crash all it takes is one cheating affair and you may never trust her again and unfortunately if you don't trust your partner then the relationship is already done there's no point even trying to give it another go i understand that you want to do it for the sake of your children but you do need to think about it from this angle too is it worth being with someone being in a toxic relationship a relationship that is not working you don't trust each other you're having a lot of problems and your relationship is literally just breaking for the sake of your children where if you really think about it you will not just be the one suffering it will also be your child too you don't want your child to grow up in a very toxic environment so me personally i would just call it a day i would just say listen i don't want to be with you anymore you've broken my trust you've cheated on me with our neighbor i'm not going to be interested in you anymore you're not the type of woman that i ever want to give a second of my life to and i'm sure that you would probably prefer that your child grows up with great parents but divorced versus together and a toxic environment around that child all of the time so that's my thoughts guys and i think i've said enough here on that note that brings us to the end of today's video i really hope you enjoyed listening to the story as much as i enjoyed reading the story if you did enjoy this video then hit that like button right now and let me know down below in the comments your thoughts let me know if you agree or disagree with what i'm saying i love reading your comments guys and i give shout outs to my favorite comments at the end of all my videos so keep your comments coming in as i love reading them and if you're not already subscribed to my channel then consider subscribing right now as when you subscribe you really help keep this channel alive and i cannot express my gratitude for each and every one of you for subscribing and supporting me on this journey that i'm on and on a final note if you've enjoyed this video then you're gonna love the one that's about to appear on your screen in three seconds and i'll see you on it take care